Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear React. Today we're reacting to season two, episode four of the originals entitled Live and Let Die. So uh Elijah's kind of taking up Gia as his little uh as his protege. We're gonna see how this plays out. Um Yeah, that's just that's kind of kind of where we're at. Oh, last episode they had a meeting with Esther at dinner, and uh Esther was like Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to jump into another body. No Cammy, no Michael last episode. Cammy's gone for two episodes. She may be back in this one. We'll find out. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. There we go. Oh, music immediately. I saw something about the Loch Ness Monster. Hold on. Just a Midwestern born in the Big Easy. I love music, dancing, and singing along with the radio when I don't know the words. Also, I won my school's free throw contest in the fourth grade. But you probably already heard about that. Things I'm good at. I can kick super high, and uh, I don't need to stretch first. Also, I'm really great at making up nicknames. Just ask, uh... Can't see the first name. It's like it's Marina. I don't know. Tater Tot. And Doug, whose real name is Larry. Spent a lot of time thinking about the Loch Ness Monster. This is like Nola YOLO 19 is the name of their dating app. Also, I didn't know until the basketball team started doing the, the Nola thing. I was like, what? what is what? what is that? And then I realized, oh, New Orleans, Louisiana. I think it's back when the Hornets had it or something before they were the Pelicans. Clever. For example, what's got two thumbs and drinks blood to survive? Josh. Oh, right. This guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Just threw him through your front window. Is this your shit? You got it. What the hell is wrong with you people? We didn't do anything. This is nothing Talk your shit, time Gia. hasn't done to us. Learn your history. I don't know who the hell you are, but we had a deal. Vampires stay out of the quarter, everybody's cool. It's not good enough anymore. Oh yeah, says who? You? Or that witch you all answer to now, Lenore, right? Never thought I'd see the day. Proud werewolves on a witch's leash. I hope those rings you're wearing are worth it. Oh shit! That's enough. Damn, the privileges Joshy. here have been revoked permanently. So when we come back, you need to be gone, because next time I won't call him off. You a dog, but you acting like a pussy. Just a warning, so, Marcel. So Marcel, you need to go ahead. I'm the only one you're gonna get. Nah, Marcel, you need to call Klaus up, bro. Like, hey, Papa. This is Hashtag the city boop. of death. See, you told you can't maybe back. And there's music. I'm a, attracted to the wrong kind of guy. I know. Tale is all his time. Well, Cammy, that's your tale. And part of the therapeutic process is in the telling of it. I know he's like, I know that this Finn character is trying to dig into Cammy to get like some information. But that's actually some really deep shit. The tale is all his time. And he responded with, yeah, but it's your tale. That's solid. Also unique. Very unique. Nice word for vampire. Nothing ever happened between us. He just got under my skin, I guess. Into your brain, too. Compelled the shit out of you. Manipulative mother, abusive father. Can't save everybody. Brother! Nicholas! Light is always screaming to Klaus. Literally everyone here has supernatural hearing, right? <laughs> well, check his calendar. Wait, no. It's the real shit. Life. So. Haley, this city's under siege by an army of beasts following my deranged mother's every command. Now, considering it was your people who just declared war on my kind, perhaps now's not the best time for your particular brand of sass. Class, after a while I go, if you want to find him, I can't help you. Only there was a magical device that people used to call people. Ah. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Good luck. Hey, I hope you figure it out, man. Rhymes with oh, one more bell thing. phone. Elijah. Um, 
Thanks for calling. It's good to hear your voice. Yeah, I bet. Get Billy Blanks back in the house. Well, you heard her, clearly. She didn't say where she was. Oh, on the contrary, love. You just had to know how to listen. For instance, I heard cicadas, and I heard tans, but the real giveaway was the church bells. Did you know Davina's family owns a little cabin in Terrebonne Parish? It's been abandoned for years, but a brief glimpse at a map shows it's just a mile from the loveliest little chapel. This man would be fire at GeoGuessr. I bet he's dope at like any geography quiz ever. Klaus would be fun at Trivia Night. He'd be a blast. I guess your magic. Magica. How well did that serve you when the wolves attacked? Hmm? Magic can only ever fight half your battle. Remember that. You'd be talking on the side of your neck, okay. this poor little girl. Fine. Literally an infant. You're so tough. Teach me. Teach you what? How to be strong. Man, this is Elena and Rick all over again. We don't want to run. How are we supposed to learn to defend ourselves from an army of super wolves in like one day? <laughs> Listen one. Marcel's just like, God, come on, man. Always be on your guard. Elijah shows up. He's going to help. Hey, don't worry. They're just, they're just taking a nap. Well, I trust our message was well received. What's going on here? Tonight is. Luna, That's your little brother, huh? Y'all like goddamn twins. A blood moon. What's that? The crest of our clan. A reminder that we always carry the honor of our ancestors before we go to battle. This motherfucker's out here whittling. Always be on your guard. Make it! <laughs> Damn, just snap your whole motherfucking sh shin bone ankle off? Uh, I hurt my ankle. The ability to endure pain is the warrior's true weapon. Master that. And nothing holds power over you. That crest looks completely different now. No. Did you burn it in there? On your feet. As a devout feminist, I refuse to say that you hit like a girl. <laughs> I fucking, I love him to death. I love him to death. So let's try this again, shall we? As a devout try feminist. Again. Why do I have to be outside with everybody else? You know? uh, with a nice teacher. You are my responsibility. Right. As a feminist. Fighting is rhythm. There is a music, there is a meter, there is a pattern. And let that rhythm beat within you. Also, rewatching, I know I pointed this out during the Vampire Diaries, but rewatching Spider Man 2 and then just seeing Daniel Gillies in it, and you're just like, look at him, look at Elijah. I don't care your character's name is John Jameson. You're Elijah. Again. Damn! Big up. Hosting up. Crescendo. And then, man, that once you've established your cadence. There you go. Change the key. Very nice. Get your goddamn hands off it. None of this means anything if you cannot make the kill. He's, he's not wrong. What if I can't do it? She is extremely pretty. You will. To survive. Y'all got some tension no. building? Because y'all both attractive. There you go. Elijah. It's not awkward. We need to talk. We're not here for a fight, just hear him out. Speak. My man Elijah had a girl with a hand in his chest playing the fucking 
piano on his heart, full finger instrumental, in there tap dancing with the tips of her phalanges on all four valves of his heart. And Haley walks in. She don't know what she's seeing. She's like, is this, are you getting off on this? Are you teaching her? I don't know. Anyways, here's a dog. Talk to him. Ah, oh, you coming here making threats. Now you want help? This looks like a fucking youth pastor. Which one's soldier? Look at him. So now it's either join up or pay the price. I've known my brother Finn to be merciless. I'll admit, this exceeds even my expectations. They're just kids. Marcel, you know the... Can't. I see it every time. Just... Now it's either join up or pay the price. Just, just got to watch Elijah I've for a second. I've known my brother Finn to be merciless. He's a phenomenal actor. and I, Seriously, this is by far one of my favorite characters I've ever seen on any TV show. But I love when he does this fucking... He does it every time he speaks. He just gets this lower part of his eyes. I'll admit. Okay, look, his eyes wide open. This exceeds even my expectations. Now look, see? <laughs> even my expectations. They're just kids. He's so awkward. Hold on. He's so awkward that even fucking Clint Eastwood here in the back is just fucking like, ah, these fucking. <laughs> He's so awkward. There you go, brother. Get close. Yeah. Hip to hip. This ain't your fucking church getaway school spring dance. Put your hips together. Feel the rhythm. Do you have any idea how shitty that would feel? For somebody to spin you and then bounce? I've never actually seen it. Hurt my feelings. Hand. You're an adorable, creepy little bit. Ugh, it smells like the wrong end of something quite dead. Yeah. Just put guacamole on her fucking foot. From a shaman bloke in Uganda. Shaman. It's not magic, brother. That was that was hummus. That's her magic chamber. When they said this is where the magic happens, this is her area. Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is where the magic happens. Why'd they never do that? And they just have like a bunch of candles and salt laying around where they can fucking... That would have been clever. Wasted opportunity. I used to fucking love that show. What have we here? A liar and a thief? I'm just looking about. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right here. The bracelet. The one she uses to control you. I'm a witch. I know the magic to turn it off. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Provided you promise not to harm me. See, Cole, you a whole flip-flop, back and forth mother lover. We've got you surrounded. Why, you don't think that... We would be dumb enough to bring them here, do you? You said to apologize for any inconvenience. The little ones you seek are elsewhere. <laughs> Which I suppose. Hey, yo. Leaves you here with me. Yeah, what a bad day for you. You're the ones that don't seem to understand. We're not looking for the kids. Uh-oh. The witch wants you. You listen to me very carefully. I told a good friend this man peeling off the motherfucking blazer. <laughs> I do my very best to spare the lives of her people. You leave right now. I will honor that. Stay. And the situation becomes irrefutably awkward. Suit well, yourself. You should probably leave. Another I'm in, or I'm out, right? That's what he said. Ollie, you can, you can get a little bit of redemption here, brother. You can get a little bit of redemption. No, no. But Elijah's taking off the jacket. I ain't gonna lie for a second. I was really pissed off at, at Oliver. Because I was like, all right, I thought he done led them astray and led the wolves directly to Elijah, like intentionally. And I was like, where are the kids at? Why are the kids on this side? Like, what's going on? 
have that little double turn of events and little buddies are we looking for the kids get away cars and ambulance smart nick you made it you made it of course i did told you i'd be here didn't i they look the same and they're wearing the same shade of green Go. get in the goddamn thing aiden i don't feel like you're gonna live past this episode man i got a weird feeling about you okay this may be a stretch but he low-key looks like he could be aaron taylor johnson's little brother just saying just trying to protect the ones that we love he's like a mix between aaron taylor johnson and that dude that was the weird pastor preacher guy on season two of the punisher yeah he, he's giving off a bunch of, god damn oh yeah that's a whole limb you mean tell me i didn't get to watch this scene well i guess that's all i got he just so it would seem Big Show choke slammed him. Ah! Actually, I'm just getting started. Here he comes. Oh. Oh. Some fucking pinching and twisting Perhaps nipples in here. Last a little longer than this, brother. Oh. Ow! Ow! You about to see the staff with that crescent on it? Yeah. Yeah. Look, my man's about to bounce. Done left evidence. Laying a boot. Look at that shit. He carpet on both sides or can you see through it? What's happening? Look, he just knew. About to javelin on that shit in there. Yeah. She done conked her head. Don't conk it. Cole, I liked you and disliked you all in the same episode. Hello. Boy. What's up, Kratos? For this moment. Well, then I'd hate to keep you waiting. Oh, blocked it. Blocked it. Uno reverse. Big left swing. Okay, blocked the stab. Yeah. Oh, big knee. God damn. <laughs> Oh, kicked it away. Rolled him off. There's the stake. Oh, stepped on his hand. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, miss. Oh, backhand. Yeah. Choke slam. Yeah, they're going. They're going heavy on the choke slam. Oh. Yeah. Grab that shit again. Yeah. Oh, a lot of hands on deck. All hands on deck. Yeah. Go get some splinters. Oh, it was just in his. Just in his. Oh, it was just in his side. He got stabbed on the on his right. Oh, the Papa Tunde knife. It's like, what type of sorcery is going in me, boy? Yeah, I know that shit sucked, man. That's right up here in this fucking area. Ha ha ha. All so gross. I'm telling you right now, nothing would stop me if I'm Klaus then stabbing him all over again with that white oak stake. I'm just saying. Nothing would stop me from doing it. I would do it in the second I put the Papa Tunde knife and got it. I'm stabbing him. I don't care about whatever story you're trying to tell. Dad, Dundada. What did this dude say? Don't be playing with Josh. Josh a good dude. It was Aiden. A vampire and a hybrid. Oh, no. Vampire and a werewolf. Look at them. I didn't think you were a vampire. <laughs> Go online. There's a life lesson for you, baby vamp. It always gets worse before it gets better. Haley been a vampire for all of four episodes and just called this girl baby vamp. You have like a day over her. <laughs>
the sea to sun. Hashtag. Bloop. She said that she was going to try to systematically break them piece by piece and try to get her family back. Starting with Elijah, it looks like. Uh, we got Klaus, who I told you I wouldn't have wasted a second. I just would have, I just would have killed him. I would have killed Michael immediately. Instead, he thought the Papa Tunde dagger was going to keep him down. He ripped that shit out. I would have said with um, that fight they had before Klaus was a hybrid, Michael being the vampire that hunts vampires, I could see him taking Klaus. But I think after being dead and coming back and training out in the fucking like, bushes with a stick, that the hybrid would best his father. Just saying. Wild ride of an episode. It is cool. We get to see Josh. You know, he's got he's on fucking uh, New Orleans YOLO 19. And he's like, yo, me talking to this boy. And it was fucking Aiden, the leader of this werewolf army who makes threats at the beginning and then ends up asking for help at the end. They got the kids away to safety. Still learning with Gia, who I'm, I'm loving as a character for some reason. And um, yeah, that's just where we're at. It was kind of a short, straight, simple uh you know, point in this episode. Davina takes Michael to her family cabin to hide from Klaus. Haley tries to stop Vincent from recruiting unsuspecting teens to build a werewolf army. Back with Cammie again. Cammie's in here talking about a bunch of stuff. Back, trying to get Klaus back on her side. She got feelings for him. And we'll see how everything progresses. I enjoyed this episode a lot. I'm mad I didn't get to watch Elijah kill them wolves, though. Um, episode five is called the red door. And I'm just going to go get into that. Also, Haley walking in on Gia and Elijah. Jelijah? Aaliyah? What we got going on right there? Huh? Anyways, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.